Hey there, folks. Hello, hello. Yeah, today we're gonna fix our JG RC Q61 because, well, have a look. Uh, oh, uh huh. See, so we're gonna fix it today. Here are the parts we're gonna use: new axles, full metal. Leaf spring with uh, goodies. I can see leaf spring and bushing, screws, nuts. Uh, what else you get? And here you have the shackles. Yes, you get some sack shackles here. And the brackets. And here you see the new axles that I'm uh, going to use. Full metal ones. This one has used up, obviously. But you can get these guys here at the eBay. I'm, I'm going to provide a link for it. This kit here I got from Banggood. I'm gonna show a link as well. And just some multi-purpose grease, or if you can, uh, marine grease. Yes, let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do is take these guys apart and put some uh, grease in it. Okay then, so now it's all greased up, ready to go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some Loctite uh, for the uh, screws. Okay, so I'm only gonna hand tight uh, these screws because if I use this, you have, oops, just jam it in. I'm definitely gonna rip apart these uh, threads, so. Hand tight with a screwdriver. Cut <laughs> yeah. To measure the height before I take off the, uh, the uh, current, uh, current axles one. Let's see. Uh, okay. Front. Place it sort of middle. Mm -hmm. Okay then. So now the the axes are ready, greased up and uh, locked tight. So, now I need to uh, just take off these old axles. I haven't mounted the axle yet because I wanted to show you guys. So it would be easier just to screw these axles also. Yeah, I push. Yeah, mm. okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see here are the brackets. Now they are different because on the brackets you can see this little bump here. So it should be mounted like this. As you can see the shack will stop bending it. Now the front axle is done with new leaf springs. Uh, one thing compared to the, uh, the axle, I still use the uh, plastic blades that came with the original, original just to prevent any more uh, bad flexing or bending. But I need to mix some new ones for the rear axle. Maybe I can just uh, 3D print some new ones. It's done. Let's check the measurements. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, front. Yep. So. Just need to make an extender for the servo steering arm. I'll just use this one here and this one. But now, was this worth it to spend like uh, um, around 20, 21, 22 US dollars? For me, yes, it was. Definitely it was. It was a lot better compared to the uh, stock ones here. It's extremely flimsy, yeah, extremely flimsy. You know what? I love it. And yes, 
If you want to upgrade your, w, uh, your WPL, JTRC trucks, and you want some little bit more clearance, yes, it's totally worth it.